Hi, I'm here with Jared Smythe and he's a filmmaker. He's doing a documentary about the Waimakariri River and we're here today to ask him a few questions. So, Jared, what is your relationship with the Waimakariri River? Well, I didn't know much about it, I sort of took it for granted, but I've been going and sleeping on it and I've been climbing up hills and I've been watching white baiters and salmon fishermen and canoeing on it and I've floated down it for seven hours and I've got to love it. It's a great thing to go, to, to be near. And it's just near where we live, isn't it? So that's why I'm, I'm getting to know and love the river. And what do you hope the documentary will do for the Waimaka River? I hope it makes it famous so that everyone loves it so much that they want to protect it. Because that's, that's how I see it now. I would love the fish in it not to die and the birds in it that breed in it. There's some birds in it that don't breed in any other places, you know. So it's got a whole world, they call it an ecology. It's a whole world of happenings on that river and that's, that's a beautiful thing. Eh? And most places in the world have been living near their rivers longer than us, so they've sort of wrecked them. And we haven't wrecked ours yet. So I reckon if we can make it famous, maybe people will love it enough to look after it. How can this story about the Waimakariri River help other rivers? Maybe we're calling this last waters, and so we're saying that most rivers have been polluted and ruined. Here's one that hasn't, and we can choose about it. But I suppose if anyone seeing this film and who maybe lives near another river, they could apply it. Because it's a bit of a universal theme. It's the sort of story about sustainability, about do we ruin the natural world for our own needs or do we try hard and protect it. And that's a universal story that can apply to rivers, trees, the globe, global warming. All the stories are the same sort of theme about keeping it for our grandchildren or ruining it now. And if we carry on like we are, we'll ruin it now. So we have to actually live in a different way to keep it for our grandchildren, which is a hard thing for us to do. So it's not an easy decision. It's easy to say we should keep it. But that might mean that we can't have animals on the plains, you know, that, that pollute the river. And if we don't have those animals on the plains, we don't have money. And we don't have money, we don't have hospitals. And we don't have, so we, we have to learn maybe that we have to live simpler lives.